Welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to show you how to create a website from scratch and you'll find that it's actually a lot easier than you might think. So the three main things we need to do are get you a domain name, hosting, and get WordPress installed and I'm going to show you how to do each one of these things step by step. So the first thing you need to do is register a domain name. So facebook.com for instance, that's a domain name. It's just an address that we use to get to a certain website. So I'm gonna show you step by step how to register a domain name. So first thing you're gonna, gonna wanna do is go to namecheap.com and there's a link in the description of the video for Namecheap you can go to as well. Then just put in your domain right here in the search bar. search and domain or name cheap is a really great website for domains because one they're really cheap and two it's really easy to use okay so make sure it's available then just add it to cart once it's added view cart so you can get it for multiple years I just want one and you can turn on or off auto renew at any time so I could turn that off later if I want and this is a free year and doesn't auto renew awesome and any of this stuff if you want it go for it but I usually just want the domain nothing else so I'll hit confirm order and then if you don't have an account just go ahead and uh, fill that out and hit create account and continue now just some additional information you have to fill out I'm gonna do it as an individual and uh, yeah so just go ahead and fill all that stuff out and hit continue. Okay, so now just go ahead and make sure this is the right contact information and if you need to change it for some reason maybe billing's different then go ahead and do that. If not you can just if you want to save this for later and uh, then hit continue. Then you're gonna put in your credit card information and make sure your billing address is correct and this is automatically in on the right setting so you don't even have to click any of that you can make this your default uh, payment and then just uh, hit continue again okay so you can just review your order real quick looks all good so that's it just hit pay now and you're done in addition to a domain name you also need to set up hosting so on Facebook for instance when you upload a picture that picture is stored on computers in remote locations and these computers are called servers so for any content you want to put on your website we need some server space to store that content and hosting is basically just renting a space on someone's servers so they can store or host your content so now I'm going to show you how to set up hosting step by step so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to hostgator.com and I'll put a link in the description as well to hostgator then click on get started now Scroll down and you'll see a couple different plans. Personally, I think the baby plan is the best because you can put as many domain names as you want onto this one plan and it's cheaper than the business plan. You can buy for a couple years in advance, it'll be cheaper, or you can do monthly. Let's just do monthly for now and then hit up sign up now. Then click on I already own this domain and then type in the domain that you already own. Baby plan, monthly, you're gonna need a username and and a pin number. This will auto populate, that's just fine as is. Put in your billing information. And then down here, there's a couple of uh, services that are already checked. Personally, I don't need these, so I uncheck them. But if you really feel the need, go ahead and check them. Then there's also a preloaded coupon for 20% off. Uh, HostGators actually hooked us up to give us a 25% off discount. So if you type in build with out code, and hit validate you're gonna see that jump up now it's 25 percent off your uh, first uh, bill go ahead and check that and then hit check out now now that your order is complete you're going to receive a welcome email so go ahead and check your email so there's two emails you actually get one is from billing there's another one with important account information but for some reason sometimes it will go to spam so check your spam folder and there it is, see your account info. This is a really important email, so let's move that into inbox. So this one from no reply with your account information. Open that up, make sure you got it. And uh, yeah, this will be important later. 
Now that you've got your domain name and you've got your hosting set up, we're going to connect everything together. So sign into your Namecheap account and then go to Manage Domains. Click on the domain name you're going to link up to the HostGator account. Then click on Transfer DNS to Web Host. Okay, now you're going to go to your email and open up that email with your account information that HostGator sent you. There'll be two, there'll be a first name, first name server and a second name server. Copy each one of those and paste them into number one and two respectively. Then just hit save changes. Now that you have your domain name and hosting set up, now we just need to install WordPress so that you can get your site live on the internet and then you can begin customizing it through WordPress. Now that your domain name is pointing to your HostGator servers, let's uh, install WordPress and we'll get your site live on the internet. So go to this HostGator email you got with your account information and right here where it says your control panel, let's click on that link. It's going to ask for a username and password and these come from the email. So username right here, so just copy this. Copy this password right here, paste it and log in. It's going to take you to your control panel for HostGator. So I'm just going to exit this welcome thing. So you can either click on right here where it says get started with WordPress today or if you scroll down to software and services where it says quick install, if you click that, both of those will take you to the same location and then click on WordPress. Hit continue. You don't want to leave this blank check this and then where it says admin email just put a contact email blog or website title and don't worry about this too much you can only, you can change the blog title afterwards admin username so just a username first and last name and then hit install now And there you go. So now it's all installed, which means your website is live on the internet. You can just type in your domain or click here. This link right here it is a link to your website. So there it is, live on the internet. And this link is to the back end. So this is where you go to begin uh, customizing your website. And the credentials are just right here. Username, password. Username, password, just put those in right there and you can log in. And after you logged in, you've logged in, you can uh, change this password to whatever you want. So yeah, it's all live. I would just recommend copying and, pa and pasting this somewhere safe or writing it down so that you have the links and the username and password um, so that you can log in correctly and get started on customizing your website. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. You can now begin customizing your, your website. And if you're new to WordPress, I created an online course that teaches you how to use WordPress that you can access at buildwithoutcode.com. So thanks again for watching and best of luck with everything.